from the Thai Cats Audio Network. This is Thai Cats Today with Louie B. Well, President of Football Operations and Head Coach Orlando Steinauer is certainly staying busy as a flurry of signings keep coming for the Thai Cats. And among them, linebacker Curtis Newton has re signed with the Thai Cats and he's with us now. And uh, Curtis, just take us through how it came to be. You know, you're, you're close to free agency. Were you tempted to, to see what? you know, February 8th might, might have for you. Why did you decide to resign now? Uh, I, you know, I think, uh, I, I love the city of Hamilton. I love, I love the playing for the tiger cats. Um, so it, it was somewhere I definitely wanted to be. Um, there was maybe a little bit of interest in seeing what was out there in free agency, but at the end of the day, Hamilton, Hamilton was where I want to be for sure. And the culture that coach O has instilled over the past two years is something uh, that I want to continue to be a part of. So it, w- it was really an easy choice to to come back to a team like Hamilton, for sure. Can, can you believe you've been in Hamilton five years now? <laughs> I mean, like, how, how quickly has that five years gone by for you? No, it, it's flew by. Actually, when they when they posted that on the Instagram post, I was kind of like, has it really been five years? Because it, it has flown by uh, so fast. But I think that's also because I've, I've enjoyed my time in Hamilton so much. Um, you know, when you enjoy playing football and having – fun the the time kind of flies as the old saying goes but yeah no that the time the time has definitely flown by for sure I think I'm more than just a casual observer but I you know I do watch practice I I do watch the games quite closely and it seemed like this this special teams unit that you guys had this season I mean you were younger but but you seemed like you were having fun every single time you guys were out there is that is that a fair assessment that that this year just it it seemed fun on special teams yeah, no, I, I would definitely agree with that statement. Like you say, we had a lot of young guys in our core unit this year, but I think that was a good thing because those those young guys brought the energy to the practice. They brought the energy to the games and make playing the game that much more fun and, and easier for us kind of older guys who might be lacking kind of that that um, uh, spirit, I guess you could say. So um, it's great to have young guys around and kind of feed off their energy and that was another reason I decided to come back to Hamilton because of the group of guys they've assembled there and the young guys that are coming up. Um, it's just a pleasure to be a part of that group. And I think there was a, there was a point where Gordon white, you know, delivered big hits and, you know, recovered fumbles. And it's just, that was one of those moments where you just thought like, okay, you guys, you guys look like you're having fun. And that's such a huge part of it to, to the youth aspect of it. You mentioned it there. Do you see yourself as, one of the leaders on in the special teams groups because because of your experience and and how do you kind of embrace that role as somebody that these younger players are asking questions to that you know life advice football advice how do you embrace that role well yeah kind of well like you say like these five years have kind of flown by so fast that at a certain point you kind of take a second and go holy smokes you know I'm not a I'm not a rookie anymore I'm not a young guy I kind of have to to be mindful that there there are young players looking up to you uh, for your veteran knowledge and stuff like that. So just being mindful of um, knowing that guys are kind of looking to you for uh, leadership and just trying to lead by example to the best of my abilities. So yeah, no, and, the, and all those young guys bought into what we were about on special teams this year. So it was it was just very easy to get along with them. Now you've been in Southern Ontario basically forever, you know, grew up in London, went to school in Guelph, played for the Argos, but what is it about Hamilton though, that you seem to have, you know, fall in love with the city, the team, what is it about this city right now that, that, that that's home? I think, I think for, for Hamilton, the kind of the values that the city represents um, match my personality very well. It's a, it's a blue collar city. It's a, it's a grab, put on your work bucket, grab your lunchbox and go to work, tough town. And that's kind of uh, the type of style of football that I like to play. I pride myself in being a, a tough player, um, able to play through injuries and just put on the put on the helmet and go to work. And uh, I, I find those values um, are exhibited by the city of Hamilton. And that's something I just want to continue to be a part of. It's well said. What is your message to Thai Cats fans who are watching this or listening to this? What do you, what do you want to tell them heading into 2022? Uh, honestly, just to expect the same same things that we, we've shown you guys over the past two seasons. Uh, I know we come up short in the Great Cup the past two years, but uh, like I say, the culture that Coach O is building in that stadium is something that's pretty special. And I think you're going to see a lot more wins and uh, more hard-nosed 
tough football played by the Hamilton Tiger Cats over the next year. So I'm looking forward to being, being a part of that again. And I know the Ticats fans are looking forward to you being a part of it as well. Uh, Curtis, congrats on the new deal. We're glad that you're sticking around in Hamilton. Uh, thanks for doing this. Really appreciate it. No problem. Thanks for having me on. It's a pleasure.